the Haley out today and what was Jordan pitching through because she clearly was still limping from yesterday? Haley wasn't eligible today um, to play. So, and Jordan's just, she's pitched all year. She's just, she's run out of gas. She's uh, hitting the gas pedal and just, there's not a whole lot coming out. Coach, with the, the year being what it's been and now you mm -hmm. are finally kind of at, at the end of it, what is the thing to take away going into this offseason? What are, the, what are the positives of what, what's been kind of a rough pack for us? Yeah, I, I, there's so many positives. Uh, it would take forever to go through them all. But to me, I look at this team and I look at their fight. I think this team will always be known for their fight and their, them willing to put the team before themselves. You see that with um, Rachel Sid on the mound and Haley on the mound. And you see Kaylee, who pitched last May for her high school team on the mound. Um, you see all of these guys moving all over the place on defense because they don't care. They just want to give the team an opportunity to win. So if they've got to move to multiple positions, they'll do that. Um, every single day they come to practice and they're excited to come to practice and they can't wait um, to prepare and get ready for the next opponent. Um, I just can't say enough about this team and how proud I am of them and all they've accomplished. And you could look at our wins and losses and go, well, but to me, unbelievable, because I don't know another team that would fight and stick through a year like this. I don't know anybody else that would do it. Expert as you are, Missy, can you speak to the big picture of Jordan this season? I mean, it's nearly 250 innings, the second highest in the country this year. I know when yesteryear that's kind of normal, but I mean, that was more than Parker as a sophomore. Near, you know, 1,134 batters faced this season, and to do it for 17 straight starts to end the year, just mm -hmm. to have to grind it out to that level that for a girl who had less than 100 innings last year to, to do this, and what you no way could have expected it. Mm -hmm. what, what did this mean to, even if it's not a successful season, what did it mean to this team for this season? Just what she's willing to do for her teammates. That's it right there. What is she willing to do for her teammates? What is she willing to do for this team, for this program, for this university? She's willing to put herself, um, gosh, put herself behind this program because she'll do whatever it takes. And when she's tired and she's tired, she's not going to tell me she's tired. She's going to say, Coach, I'm ready to go. And I love that about Jordan. Jordan's future is unbelievably bright. And I can't wait. Um, you know, you look at this year and you can look at the ERA, win, loss, whatever. It doesn't matter. It, it's about the fight. And I promise you, when you see Jordan next year and you see her absolutely getting it done and she's stronger and uh, mentally tougher and um, is rested and all of those good things, um, it's because of what she went through this year. This, this year is paving the road for what's next. With Jordan and, and all the freshmen and Shane, mm -hmm. it feels like you have a, a pretty good core group to build around. What's kind of your approach to maybe using the portal the other direction to, to fill the roster out? Mm -hmm. depth? Is that kind of sure. Your yeah, approach? sure. We'll have to do that. You know, we've got some great athletes coming in. Um, you know, we'll obviously have to go to the portal as well. Um, but I look at the nucleus that is here, and it's good. It's good. It's really, really good. And what's cool is they know it. They know it as a group that it's good. Um, I, I, like I said, just the fight and their experiences that they've had this year are going to go such a long way. It, it's hard because you don't maybe get to see all of it right now, but you, you're going to see it. You're going to see it. It's going to be cool next year to be sitting here in front of you all talking about this group and what, what are we going to be saying about this group next year. And how much are we going to be referring to what this year did for them? That's those are things that you're going to hear next year. No, you can't speak to specific uh, players specifically, I'm missing outside the program. But for what you're looking for, uh, clearly the corner outfield spots. I would say, and probably a couple of arms. Is that I mean, it's left-handed? Are those the premiums, the corner outfield spots, arms, lefty bats? You know, we're we're definitely looking for great athletes. We. Um, I'm not even thinking about that right now, honestly. I just, I'm just thinking about this group and what they've done and to be able to send our seniors out the right way um, to give them a celebration today. 
Um, you know what? Another thing I can tell you, I cannot say enough about our fans. Our fans have been unbelievable. I, I stand in the third base coaching box and I'm like, wow, this is exactly why I came. This is why I came here to Oregon, to be standing here and looking at this beautiful stadium and looking at the crowd uh, fight for this team. Our team's fighting for this program and they're fighting for our fans, but to see our, fi our fans fighting back for us um, was pretty special. So. Happy for Cherish or considering the quality of opponent. Yeah. Of opponent, this might be the best offensive game she's had. Yeah, uh, really happy for Cheris. Um, she she did an excellent job at the plate, um, in the outfield. April hit the ball hard. You know, I was excited to get Bailey on to send her around <laughs> third one last time. Um, and then and Daria, you know, my heart breaks for Daria, uh, for her not to be able to play this year because of the torn ACL, but to see her in the dugout and leading in the dugout. You know, all year I've been asking this group. Uh, for leadership and that I need emerging leaders. When are emerging leaders going to show up? That's Those are words that I've talked with about. Those are words I've used all year with this group and I saw a lot of emerging leaders. To me it's not about one person leading a team. It's about everybody having the opportunity because if you look through this whole year there have been plenty of different opportunities where somebody on this team has had to step up and lead and that's what it's all about. For the freshman and the young players, do, what does your career experience tell you? I mean, is, is it will they face anything on the field that will approach the adversity they faced this year? I mean, just how mentally tough will they be a year or two through down the road? I don't think they will. I think what they felt face this year, if next year they'll be going, if we can do last year, we can do anything. If we can do last year, we can do anything. That's those are the things. Those are the comments that you're going to hear from these guys. So, it was it was important for this group to fight from the beginning all the way to the very end and walk off the field as a group the way that they wanted to walk off, and they did it right. I imagine it was taxing for you know each player individually over the course of the season. Just Jordan from the physical and Haley seeing friends leaving having to step up in a leadership role. What, mm -hmm. what was it like for you? I mean, was was this an exhausting season for you. <laughs> Does it look like it? <laughs> you know what? It was tough. It was a tough season. I mean, to say that, oh, this was no problem. It, it was very tough. It was tough on me, for sure. The fall was tough. Um, the spring was tough at times, not knowing if we we're going to have somebody to pitch, not knowing if, you know, somebody's out because of an injury, who's going to play that position. But every time it got tough, somebody on this team stepped up and said, you know what? I got you. We're okay. We're okay. And that's what was pretty cool this year is, I mean, even today, we did not have Haley, which stinks. I mean, she's a big part of our team, but you know what this group says? It's okay, Haley, we got you. And we switch everybody around and here we are, so. Can you just talk about your seniors, obviously so many girls left prior, but they decided to stay. Mm -hmm. um, they believed in the program, they believed in you. Can you talk about what that means to you and what they've meant? Sure. I, I will never, ever forget what this senior group has done for me and for our team and for our university. I can't say enough because without them, I don't think we would have been able to do what we did this year. Um, they, they stepped into playing every single day and going from maybe leading some to have to, that they're the ones. They're the ones. This team is looking to them for their leadership. And I, I thought they nailed it. You know, they're, they're working on their um, softball skills, you know, during practice, but they're also working on how to become great leaders. And they took that very serious this year, and you could see it. So I look back at everything that we've accomplished this year, and I don't think we would have been able to do that if we did not have our senior group, including Bailey. When I'm saying seniors, I'm talking all four. Even Bailey coming from soccer. It was a blessing for her to come from soccer and to come here and say, Coach, I haven't played softball a whole lot, but I can run and I'm pretty fast. What, what can I do to help? That was huge. So this senior group, um, I will never forget. And it, um, they were a blessing for me to be able to come here to Oregon and to, to get them their last year. So can't, I can't say how pr enough of how proud I am of them. You're planning on going to Oklahoma City at all? Anyway, just to, just to kind of walk through and watch Oklahoma learn? Um, I don't know. I, I haven't really thought about that, you know. Um, haven't even thought about that. But I, I know I will be going to Oklahoma City with this group. No question. To so follow with that, Miss, was going to say, can you speak to what's, <clears throat> what is next? Um, but as far as I know, the contact period, I guess, doesn't start for another three or four weeks. But mm -hmm. just what it looks like for you and 
making adjustments on the ground as far as do you go to regionals, super regionals to look at who you might be pursuing or, or what does kind of the next couple of weeks look like? I'm just, um, I would say the next couple of weeks, we'll just kind of take it day by day. I, those are things, decisions that we don't have to make right now. Right now, I just want to, we've got a great banquet tonight to celebrate our seniors, and I'm looking forward to getting the evening with them and getting to celebrate one more time. I'll tell you guys too, thank you. I appreciate um, every game you guys have been out here and uh, supporting this group. So I just want to say from our program, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. And I can't wait till next year.